On our UVA house call tonight, we all know stress can definitely affect our moods, but we don't always think about it affecting our hearts. Dr. P Brandy Patterson from the University of Virginia is here to talk about that problem. You know, we do think about, oh, we're so stressed by everything, and it goes right to your mental state first, but this can really have a bigger impact inside, too. Right. So, uh, you know, our stress response has evolved over a millennium, and its primary purpose is to get our bodies ready for action, to defend ourselves against danger. And historically, that's been running from a lion. Nowadays, it's slamming on your car brakes to avoid an accident. So, in the brain can sense that. It sends a signal to our adrenal glands and those adrenal glands release hormones that increase our heart rate, increase our blood pressure, and it makes us breathe faster. So all of these are really good responses because it makes us move faster and act. Um, after the acute event has resolved, meaning we haven't gotten into a car accident, our body goes back to normal. It's really when the stress becomes chronic that it has a really negative effect on our body and it leads to hypertension or high blood pressure, rhythm disturbances. It also actually changes the way that our blood clots and it makes people more prone to having heart attacks and strokes. It also leads to diabetes and additional weight gain. Really that buildup over time that can cause right. those problems. What can you do to prevent stress from impacting your heart as much? So the first goal that I ask patients to consider is what is actually causing the stress and is there any way that they can get rid of it? Obviously that's very difficult to do. Um, so we have to look towards positive coping mechanisms and I like the term active relaxation techniques which include meditation, yoga, and tai chi. All three of these modalities have been proven to lower the blood pressure and reduce inflammation in the body. Uh, all obviously exercise and sleeping enough, getting eight hours of sleep if you can, and eating a healthy diet also help. One point I do want to make is that a lot of people do turn to negative coping mechanisms like right. smoking, alcohol, and drug use to cope with stress. And as we discussed briefly, stress in and of itself affects our body in negative ways. And so you're just adding insult to injury. And if you really do want to learn more about how to deal with the stress and to prevent it from affecting your heart. You guys uh, have an event coming up, right? We do, we do. It's a, a Club Red UVA Heart and Vascular Center sponsored event. It's a free event and it's Which going always, to... That's less stressful yeah, then? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be at the Omni Hotel on September 24th, which is next Thursday from 6 to 7.30. It will be a panel of experts in stress and stress reduction answering the audience's questions about stress and how to reduce it effectively, as well as a dietitian speaking about mindful eating. And so there's going to be great food there, of course, uh, as, yeah, as well as a yoga session. Okay. So I hope to see you there. Sounds good. <laughs> we all can use a little less stress around the newsroom. That's for sure. <laughs> Dr. Brandy Patterson, thank you so much thank for stopping you. by. Thank you.